Hi guys, I hope you're doing great. Welcome to my channel. Here we are with another episode of C Sharp tutorial. In this episode, we are going to learn how to create a simple maze application. And um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, don't forget to subscribe it. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. Let's begin. Okay, let's begin with um, changing the name of the form. I want to change it to, um, let's change the text of it. And um, I'm gonna change it to um, maze um, game board. Okay, and I'm gonna add uh, some labels because uh, these labels uh, will act as blocks in order to block the uh, way of cursor in order to not to um, let it reach the final uh, easily. Okay, let's um, change the auto size property to uh, fall so that I can change the size of the label. I don't want it to have any text on it, so I delete the text and uh, I want to um, change the color of the label, change the background color and here I want to set it to, um, I think gold is good, yeah, I think gold is good and also I want to change the background of our form, I want to change it to uh, black, you can change to whatever you want I believe this is amazing and I think um, gold and black uh, actually have good uh, looking and I think it's really um, eye-catching. So um, now I want to add uh, other labels but first I want to um, declare a function here and when the mouse enter the label I want to uh, do some actions. I want to uh, change the um, location of the cursor. I want to situate it at the beginning of the game. So I need a function here uh, mouse enter. That's it. And um, I double click on this, and this function is generated here. And uh, I go back uh, on our label. I uh, make a copy. And um, I want to change the uh, dimension of this label. I want to um, actually change it to look like um, this. And this one, I want one to be horizontal and one to be vertical. Okay. And uh, I have to actually make a copy of these, some of some copies, in order to facilitate our uh, actually programming so our design and I want to place them well let's place one of them here and um, the other one can be right here you can actually uh, put wherever you want I just this is uh, what I like and this is not the only way Okay, and I just need um, another one to act as the final um, position and I put it right here and this one, I want to change the color of this one to be uh, separable from uh, others and I change it to, um, let's change it to 
white and I think uh, this is good and let's have a name I write finish and let's change the uh, alignment and I think that's good that looks good and um, let's jump into the code let's see uh, what functions can we use okay um, here we had uh, this function I copy the name of this function and actually I'm gonna uh, select all of them all the labels and I want to copy the name of that function so that all of these uh, labels when I enter them and uh, this function will happen okay right here okay let's uh, change the name of this um, form I want to change it to uh, maze um, game board okay now let's um, jump into the code and see what we should do with this function first I'm going to uh, define a point uh, where the cursor uh, will go whenever uh, it enters the labels okay so in the first step we have to define a point I um, write point um, I want to uh, set its name to start point okay it equals to new uh, point and I have to initialize this point I want to um, give um, the input the, there are four overloads I want to use the uh, last one I want to give um, X and Y I want it to be 10 and 10 this is my opinion you can change it to whatever you want and uh, then I want to um, give this position to the cursor so I uh, write cursor um, dot position equals to now I use um, point to screen this function because as you see here computes the location of the client point into screen coordinates and so as input and uh, it needs point so I give our start point and this is um, our function and I just need to do uh, another thing and I want to uh, use this label I want to use uh, mouse enter this one must be uh, different from others and uh, when our cursor reach this label I want to uh, actually show a message box so I write message box that show uh, I can use as a um, text I want to say uh, you won for example okay and now I'm gonna start to see whether it works or not okay as you see when I enter these labels the cursor uh, immediately change its, its position to the start point where I declared okay so I have to be careful and let's see whether I can do it or not it's somehow tricky and now I reach the final and you won't you see this program worked okay and I want to add another feature I want to when I reach that final when I uh, click on OK I want to uh, actually go to the beginning point you see our cursor is right here I don't want it to be like this I want to um, change it I want to say um, cursor let's copy uh, this line and write it right here so I think this is better now oh we have okay we don't have a starting point here so we got into trouble right here and um, 
I can write this line um, here so we can use it and now as you see when I go reach here the cursor immediately goes down here and um, this program has another problem when I actually start the program our cursor can be here and this is not uh, right I want to uh, change its uh, position I want to set the position to the beginning where it must be at the beginning okay so I have to write this line right here okay the, the better way is let's uh, define a function this is somehow uh, dirty code let's define a function um, private uh, move to beginning beginning okay and now I have to uh, actually use void and now we have our function okay this is our function and uh, I have to write this one and this one okay now we can use this instead of these codes at the beginning I want this to be right at the beginning and I want to set the same you see this is the uh, use of functions it can actually make our work straightforward and when I start you see our cursor is right here when I enter these labels our cursor jump into the beginning point and um, this is I think good and I want to add another feature and I don't want this uh, cursor to go out of uh, this uh, form you, you see I can actually go from behind of this and I enter here this is somehow cheating and I want to solve this problem okay in order to solve this problem I want to use labels I want to uh, actually put them on the border of our form so that uh, we don't we uh, our cursor cannot uh, go out of this uh, actually form and our problem will be uh, solved okay now there is no way that um, this uh, cursor can get out of our uh, game board but I have to uh, use some functions here and I have to uh, copy the name of this function and I have to assign the name of this function to other to our new labels mouse enter right here another one okay uh, let's try it but here I have to change uh, the position to for example 30 and uh, 30 and let's see whether it works or not okay it works but here we cannot actually uh, cross from these uh, labels okay now I think it's better Let's see whether it works or not. And as you see, it worked. Okay, I click on one, and again, it is at the beginning, and it cannot exceed from 
these borders okay guys this was our uh, simple maze game you can uh, change the color of the labels you can uh, actually change the position of the labels and you can use various functions and you can add sound to the uh, our uh, final point and to our final label i mean and or other labels you can do various uh, things but i think it is enough for this session if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet don't forget to subscribe it and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like it bye for now <laughs>